Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel. So today's video we're going to be reviewing the new Huda Beauty foundation. So I already color matched myself. I did order four foundations and I got my shade. So I am brown sugar. So if you guys want to see how well this lasts, how it applies and my thoughts on it, continue watching. So like always I'm going to zoom you guys in and we will be applying the foundation. So going in with the Huda Beauty complexion primer. Let's see how well it works. So I'm just going to blend this in. Damn, that was a lot. Okay, you totally went off the board, dude. <laughs> uh, it feels very moisturizing and it does have a fragrant smell. You guys see that? It's really tacky. You know what that means? The foundation is going to stick to it like glue, which is really good. I cannot believe how much I applied. Now going in with the foundation, I love the way it looks. Look at it, I love it, I love it. Packaging is very nice. I love how it has like a velvet feel. It says Huda Beauty, very, very cute. I like that packaging, I feel like is a big thing, especially when you want to sell a product. Me, if packaging looks awesome, I'll grab it. And here's the foundation, it says Huda Beauty all around, kind of has like some black fading up. And it comes with a pump, which is a bonus when it comes to foundations. Just by touching it, it feels really nice and thick. The foundation as well has like that fragr fragrance smell, like a perfume, like it's, it's like a scented perfume. Okay, so I'm just going to blend this in. I will be using my IT Cosmetics Heavenly Complexion Brush. This is such an amazing brush for foundation. I just love the coverage that it gives me and it's super soft you guys like very soft i love it i love it i love it it's one of my favorite high-end brushes bring that down to your neck because you don't want to look like you're wearing a mask. so we're going to do foundation no foundation my previous foundation review i did not say it and it made me so sad one of you guys caught it so here is the foundation side very nice full coverage looks very very good and then we have this side no foundation foundation no foundation foundation no foundation so let's finish applying the foundation i want to use a sponge on the other side and you guys can tell me which one you guys prefer which one looks nicer i feel like with the brush it gave a lot of coverage like a lot so I'm just going to go in and apply this to the rest of my face. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to use a beauty sponge and we're just going to blend that in. Okay, so here it is with a sponge brush. Sponge brush. For some reason, I feel like the brush gave more coverage, but you guys let me know if you guys think the sponge gave more coverage or brush. Yes, I love the finish it gives me. Like, it looks so freaking nice, you guys. Like, I wish you see it in per oh my gosh my pelo i'm just like a freaking cat i'm always shedding but i love the way it looks looks really nice like my face just looks flawless i really can't believe how much freaking primer i put on like i thought a little bit was gonna come in that package but no she gave you guys a lot of it to play around with okay so now for concealer i will be using my tarte cosmetics and this is in medium Hopefully it blends in like a dream with the foundation because so far I'm liking the foundation. Even though it's been like a couple of minutes, like I'm just, I love it. It's so crazy because like the foundation feels so freaking tacky still. Like, like look at, so like anything you place on it, 
it's going to stick to it. I like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with pointed blush brush, but I'm gonna use it for powder. And this is the Moda Pro brushes we got in our boxy charm so now going in with my favorite la girl pro powder you guys know i swore by this this is seriously amazing like i finished these how many like in a month maybe like three four in a month because i use them that much hopefully they make some like big size ones this girl will be getting crazy with them just patting it very softly gonna let that like bake a little bit and then we're gonna go Okay, now going in with my Anastasia Cream Contouring Kit. Thank you. Going in with this baby, and we're going to contour, so I'm going to use a mixture of these two shades right here. Okay, now going in with my Morphe Prep and Set. I'm just going to spray my sponge again. I'm going to use the Maybelline foundation brush. And I'm just going to buff that in. If you guys want to see a demo and a review of me using this, I will leave it up here and down below. It's amazing. So now to contour, going in with my City Color Contour FX. This is the number two palette using my Makeup Shack T23 brush. And I'm going to go in and use these two shades right here. And I'm going in to contour my nose using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And I will be using my Wet n Wild, my fluffy blending brush. Okay, now going in with my lips using the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner. And this is Keep It Spicy. This is such a pretty nude. I love it. So now going in with the LA Girl Lipify Style Teddy. Okay, now going in with my Ofra Cosmetics Makeup Fixer. Okay, so it's 129. Here's how my face looks. Very impressed. Look at my forehead. Yes. Okay, so it's 129. I'm going to go throughout my day. So far, the foundation is looking good. I really like it. And again, I'm brown sugar. So yeah, that is such a cute name, huh, for foundation, brown sugar. So I'm just going to go on throughout my day. And then I'll come back in and check in with you guys. And then I'll do one check in and then check in at the end of the night, give you guys my final thoughts. So stay tuned. Okay, so here's how the foundation is holding up. Ah! I love it. Look how good my skin looks. A little bit of oil on my nose, a little bit of oil on my forehead, but it's nothing where it's like, oh my. It's just a little bit. Forehead is looking good. Yes, yes, yes. I am freaking loving this. So I'm going to add a new lip color. This is the Becca Color Balm and this is Milk Chocolate. Look how beautiful this is. So what I have to say about the foundation, it's holding up very well. It looks so pretty. It's very matte and it's kind of glowy at the same time. Or maybe it's just a highlight. But it looks good. Like it really looks good. I catch myself looking in the mirror like, hey girl. Like you know how you just feel so cute? You just like want to take like a thousand selfies or every time like you pass the mirror, you just so, like, you know, you just look good. I'm so happy that I like it because it looks so really good. So, yeah, I'll give one last update. I will wait until a little bit later on tonight. I'm going to do some cleaning, bust a sweat, 
I'll be back and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, so here's the foundation. Highlight is still on. My nose is oily. Under eyes. I was laughing so hard, so it's like crying. But everything is looking good. Here's the forehead. So it's 1.20 now a.m. I feel like the foundation held up amazing, you guys. Amazing, amazing. When I look at it, it looks so freaking good. Highlight is on. Very, very nice. Contour is still on. My nose is still contoured. I like the way it looks. I do see a little bit of separation on my nose, but nothing where it's like, oh my god, nothing too bad. The area around my chin, it looks a little bit dry, but I just need to add a lot of moisturizer in that area because I tend to be very dry in this area. But from using the Huda Beauty primer, I feel like it did keep it on and it looks really, really good. Forehead, I did see as time went by that it was settling in my forehead lines. But I'm pretty sure if I were to blot and use a really good pressed powder, problem solved. So, would I recommend the Huda Beauty foundation? Hell yeah. Go try it out. You will love it. The pigmentation is amazing. Very, very nice. Very creamy and smooth. And I just like the way it just went on the face. I wouldn't recommend using a sponge to get the most coverage. The most coverage I would recommend is using a brush. I feel like when I used a brush, I just like the way it looked and it looks more like bam, full, full coverage. I did notice when I did apply the primer and the foundation, it does have like a perfume scent, but it does go away as like it settles into your face and all of that. It's not something that's going to linger and you're just gonna smell throughout the day and you're like, oh my God. Just in case you're like very sensitive to those things, it did fade away. It wasn't like by the time I was done with my whole face, it was already gone. Done. Gone. So yeah, I like the foundation. I really like it. Very nice. And I just love the way it made my skin look. I I love it. I can see myself using this a lot. Even when I applied the concealer, I felt like it blended very, very nicely. But I did notice that the Tarte concealer, it dries down pretty fast. When using those two together, work fast. Just because the concealer does dry down pretty quickly. So just keep that in mind. But other than that, I love it. I do really, really like it. And I can't wait to use my go-to products that I use and use the foundation. I know I'm going to love it. So let me know down below if you have tried this foundation and what your thoughts were on it. Do you think it was worth it? Did you like it? What were your cons and pros? So thank you guys so much for watching. Mm -hmm. Te quiero mucho. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.